This is the Star News Brief from Tina Mombunu. A silent but vicious supremacy tussle threatening to scuttle the unity of leaders from the Kalenjin community is brewing. At the center of the struggle is the fight for President William Ruto's heir in the region for the 2032 general election. And it is not about who is more powerful to take up the role, but between the two regions of North and South Rift. Emwara Dikir MP Johanna Ngeno, who kick-started the debate during a recent event in Bomet, is pushing to have a leader from the Kipsigis installed as the second in line. Those seen as possible Ruto successors in the Rift Valley, due to their current political influence, are Transport Cabinet Secretary Kip Chumba Murkomen and Senate Majority Leader Aaron Cheriot. Get a copy of the Star by subscribing to our e-paper for only 40 shillings by logging on to www.mgazetti.com. Deputy President Trigadhi Gashagwa has maintained that both Mount Kenya and Rift Valley are united contrary to claims of divisions among leaders. He said leaders from the two regions were united and solidly behind President William Ruto. Speaking during a church service in Nandi, the DP said some individuals who wanted to stop President Ruto from ascending to power are out trying to cause a rift where there is none. The particular individuals whom he said lost in the election are still in denial and are looking for faults in the administration. President William Ruto has vowed to eliminate sugar cartels he accused of stifling growth of the industry. Sugarcane farming has been the mainstay of thousands of households in western Kenya. Using his Mambo ni Matatu slogan, the president insisted that he will decisively deal with the cartels who have for decades frustrated cane farmers. The proverb, you want everything, you miss everything, perfectly sums up the experience of Moses Mwangi Waguri, an old man convicted of sexual abuse who sought to have his five-year jail term overturned but instead got it enhanced. The grandfather from hell, who is a serial sexual offender and who lured his small granddaughter and defiled her, will be in jail for eight years. The man had been convicted of the offence and sent to jail for five years in 2018, but in 2020, he opted to attempt his luck in appeals. Court records show that the man had an earlier conviction of sexual offence before the present case saw him dragged to court. And two police officers have been arrested after their vehicle was intercepted while ferrying 13 immigrants in Lokichar, Turkana County. The vehicle was carrying 8 Ethiopians, 4 Eritreans, and a Sudanese man. Police said the driver and his colleague were armed with AK-47 rifles at the time of their arrest. They were disarmed and detained. All the aliens were also detained ahead of arraignment and possible repatriation, police said. Get a copy of the Star by subscribing to our e-paper for only 40 shillings by logging on to www.mgazetti.com.